I remember like it was yesterday when we started with volume one. And here, well, volume four. My name is Robert Emper and I'm your teacher, your guide, through the DVD tutorial series Whip Basics, A Beginner's Guide. And this is, like I said, volume four. Well, in volume one, the basics, the first four crack routine, volume two, more techniques, a 10 crack routine, and the last time in volume three, we had the 23 crack routine. Here in volume four, uh, well, we will not so much talk about technique, more about how to perform on stage. That's very important. You know, now you know the techniques, but how to behave on a stage or on a barbecue, whatever. We'll talk about that here in volume four. Then we'll talk about what whip, for what purpose, materials, different styles of whips, how to make your own cracker, how to attach a cracker, how to change a fall without cutting your whip in pieces, all that stuff. So let's go into the studio to start with volume four. People ask me very often how to make my own crackers and what material, what kind of crackers and so on. Well, I'm going to explain all these things here together. First, you need three things. This one, the pulley. This here is the nylon. And it's very important that is bonded nylon thread. So if you go to the internet and check for bonded nylon thread and a knife, like this, pretty simple. Before we start to, to, to make our own crackers, I'm going to show you a few samples. First, we have the poly cracker. This is a pure poly cracker. There is a plus and there is a minus. First, the minus. The poly crackers tend to... You don't see anything, right? Yeah, sure. Pretty simple. It's all very tiny and small. So, we're going to upscale everything a little bit. So, out of this, we make this. This is our cracker. And this one here, the fall, we take this one. Everything a little bit bigger than the originals. So, now, one and two. Thank you. Hop. This here is the end of the fall. This here is the cracker. The loop at the end of the cracker, the knot and the fluffy end part which makes the crack. So, first of all, the loop and the cracker you bring over the end of the fall. Like this. You okay. can see, so from your perspective, you form here the number six. When you attach your cracker and you look at your fall, you should see this. This is the end of the fall and the whip comes down here, okay? Now, you grab your cracker here and bring it here through the belly of the six, through that loop, like this, okay? then it should look like that. You have that number six with the end of the fall and your cracker comes through here. Okay? Good. 
and all you do now is you pull here. And now here's a way how to give the whip from one hand to the other while you do exactly that technique. And that looks like this. That was mistake number one, but we have more. Here we have mistake number two. I'm not sure what's worse. Viprecking artist, whip instructor, whip teacher, best whip cracker in whole world. Gunshot, very loud. Whip cracking, ultimo. Mm. Master! Huh? Huh? Yeah. Ta da! 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 Ultimo lip cracking intervention! Huh? Well, that was wrong way number two. And now we're going to show you the proper way. A lot of people ask me, what is the best way to perform? It's not about the technique. Of course, the technique is the base of all that, but just try to be yourself. Don't play games, okay? So. The basic of all this is, when you, as long as you have fun on the stage, the people will see that you have fun and everything is great, everything is cool. Another thing is making mistakes. How good your performance will be, a very big point, a very important point is, how do you manage the situation when you miss? First, I'm going to show you, hopefully, the right way to perform. And after that, I show you what you can do when you make a mistake on stage. Next in the one studio, we have the TV show. is the so-called Florida Cow Whip. The Florida Cow Whip is an interesting thing because uh, in Florida, well, before it was a part of the United States, um, the cowboys there, they were called the vaqueros. And really, it's, it's a fact, before the typical American cowboy came in that country, it was the vaqueros who used these whips. It was pretty pretty interesting construction. You have, again, the wooden handle. You have the braided thong. 
And um, it's here, this part, this actually...